Welcome back, Penguins. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, and it's National Escargot Day. Each year on May 24th, National Escargot Day honors the famous French dish of cooked land snails. By the way, escargot is the French word for snail. While escargot is enjoyed by many, it is an acquired taste. Many French restaurants serve the dish as an appetizer. Now let's slither on over to McKenna and David into the in the SNAN studios for today's broadcast. Um, ew. No thanks to help get that vision of a fork full of snails out of my head. Let's all stand to recite our Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing as we say the proud Penguin Pledge. Respect, Respect responsibility, responsibility, and citizenship too. They bring out the best in me and you. Trustworthiness and being fair help to show others that we all care. We all know it's right. We all know it's good. We all do the things that we know we should. Remain standing as we reflect on the fun we will have today. You may be seated. Now, let's head over to the SNAN Weather Studios for today's weather. Thanks, David. Looks like another typical late spring here, spring day here on Merritt Island. High 80s and a chance for afternoon showers. Just remember to keep drinking that water to stay hydrated. Today's trivia question is which of these is not a type of cloud? Is it A, stratus, B, cumulus, C, cirro navigator, or D, stratocumulus? The answer, of course, is C. There is no such thing as a cirro navigator cloud. Now back to you in the studio. Keep those trivia questions coming. Now let's head to the Good News News Studios for today's smile story. Thanks, McKenna. Today's headline, Diving Heroes Find Woman's 100-Year-Old Wing After It Flew Off Her Finger Into a River. A team of scuba, d scuba diving heroes have reunited a grateful woman for, with her lost wedding ring after it flew off her finger in, in, into a river. Emma Lyon was watching the boat race from the banks of the river last Saturday when the 100-year-old jewelry flew into the water. She contacted Bedford Scuba at Divers the following day after a friend suggested they could help and couldn't, and couldn't believe how quickly they responded to her plea. By Monday evening, a team of divers had found the ring and handed it back to Emma. Now back to you in the studios. What a great story. Well, that's our show today. Don't forget today, tomorrow, and Thursday are early release days. Second and third graders have a great time at your picnics and award ceremonies. Fourth and fifth graders, you're up tomorrow. Take care, penguins, and remember to be kind. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow.